Hello everyone, as we kick off this presentation, let's embrace the exciting journey of preparing for the CK 2025 exam. The Certified Kubernetes Administrator Certification is essential for anyone looking to solidify their expertise in Kubernetes. And with the 2025 updates, staying informed is crucial. This overview highlights the latest developments regarding the CK 2025 exam, ensuring that you have a clear understanding of the changes coming your way. Here are a few points that a candidate needs to keep in mind before applying or working for a CK certification, that is the validity period which is for two years. Next is the exam format deals with real-time scenarios and a candidate have 12 months to schedule and complete the exam, offering flexibility of rescheduling as well. And then there is a DTEC policy which needs to be covered in a 12 month period itself. Next comes with the key changes that have happened in the 2025 update. It's crucial to understand how these changes will shape the way candidates prepare for the exam. The key changes outlined here are designed to make the exam more relevant and applicable to real world Kubernetes scenarios, ensuring that the candidates are well equipped with the face challenges and in today's landscape. First is the introduction of the new topics. Next comes the curriculum adjustments that they have made and it is way more practical exam rather than the theoretical knowledge that has been added over here and 30% of the knowledge is for troubleshooting which is the increased weightage for the troubleshooting section that we have. Next comes up uh, with the terms that has been deleted. Um, there are two removal of specific topics such as the ETCD backup and the restoration is no longer included in the exam. Additionally, cube ADM for cluster updates is now excluded from the exam content as well. This indicates move away from the traditional updates and shifting towards way more automated and streamlined methods of cluster management. Additionally, cube ADM for cluster updates is now excluded from the co content as well. Uh, moreover, we have uh, speaking of the real world applications, the exam will now place a stronger emphasis on practical knowledge and management skills. One of the areas of focus will be the gateway APIs. This emerging standard is crucial for managing ingress traffic and its inclusion in the real in the real highlights is the importance of modern Kubernetes architecture. Helm and customize are also being spotlighted over here. These tools are vital for package management and resource customization within Kubernetes. Moreover, CRDs and operators will receive particular attention. Understanding these concepts is vital as they enable users to extend Kubernetes functionality and automate complex tasks. Starting in 2025, um, there were significant changes and moreover from 18th February all these changes have been added. So there is a minimum scoring percentage that, uh, that is 66 percent and you have to complete exam within two hours. Moreover the simulator for the killer.sh where you can have a real time hands on that is 1.32. Now coming up with the exact percentage for each exam is covered over here. Troubleshooting will be majorly focusing and comprising 30% of the exam that highlights the necessity for candidates to develop strong problem solving as effective administration of Kubernetes environments. Workloads and scheduling are also critical representing 15% of the exam. And cluster updates is also vital uh, making up to 25% and uh, Moreover, we have networking and services with a count of 20% of the examination covering essential topics such as managing pod, connectivity and network policies. Finally, candidates will be assessed on their ability to evaluate key competencies that are vital for Kubernetes administration. So these are the four major topics that will be covered upon and make sure you prepare those um, topics from here. And there is a huge amount of um, data that has been added into the Mumshad Muhammad scores as well with the mock exams. So do check that out. 
and it's a the whole concept is on the hands-on practice which is on the killer.fh that we have and make sure you do check this out the stimulators are only available for 36 hours so do grab the opportunity and do a hands-on practice on it with all the documentation that is available last but not the least over here we have all the effective things happening from the february 18 2025 the minimum score percent is 66 already we have discussed and uh, this is the thing which i'm talking about is to get familiar with the um, browser or the external um, browser that we have for the ck exam last but not the least it brings us to the end of the slide and um, let me know if you have any doubts in the ck preparation do let me know your um, feedback or any of the suggestions in the comments down below thank you